Hello everyone, it's great to see you again. Today, I'm going to fix a recipe from my cookbook. It's right here on page 130. It is a caramelized onion and blue cheese tart. Really, it's a galette. It's a very chic thing to serve for dinner, but it's very inexpensive to make. Now, the recipe starts with three large onions, and we have to slice these very thinly, so I'm going to first sharpen my knife. I will link this awesome gadget in the description below. It's sharp. Now, I'm starting with the onions because they take the longest to cook, about 40 minutes. And you want to slice them very thinly. I'm just cutting this onion in half through the root end. Peel. If you have a food processor with a slicing disc, go ahead and use that. It will give you the very thinnest slices. I have a food processor and a slicing disc, but I'm going to use the food processor to make the pastry dough in a little bit, so I don't want to dirty the food processor right now. I'm slicing the onions into very thin half moons. There, this looks like a lot of onions, but they are going to cook down dramatically. Now, we have to move over to the stove top. All right, I'm going to set my flame to its lowest setting. And then you need a heavy pot. I'm using my enameled cast iron Le Creuset here. But you could use any heavy pot. Heavy, because you do not want the onions to burn. And I'm adding olive oil and butter. Just a glug of olive oil and about a tablespoon of butter. Then add the onions. Give the onions a toss to coat them with the oil and butter. And then cover the pot and let the onions sweat for exactly 15 minutes. While the onions are sweating, I'm going to go ahead and make the pastry dough. And I'm making it right here in my little food processor. So I have one and a half cups of all-purpose or plain flour. That's 200 grams of flour. To this, I'm adding a nice pinch of salt. And then I'm going to add a half cup or 113 grams of fat. I'm using half butter and half vegetable shortening. Vegetable shortening will give this pastry dough a very tender quality. Tender and flaky. This is cold diced butter. So this would be a quarter cup of butter here. Oop. I got to add my shortening. And the butter and the shortening are quite cold. And then pulse just to break up the butter and the shortening. Then I'm going to add one third cup or 80 mils of ice cold water. And I'm going to add it while the machine is running. Add only enough water to create a clumpy dough. And you just run the machine until a clumpy dough develops. And that's very clumpy. Then pour the dough onto a non-floured work surface. I'm using a marble board here. And then form the dough into a ball. Flatten the ball into a disc, and then wrap the dough in cling film. 
I'm going to pop this into the refrigerator to let it chill for at least 30 minutes. And while the dough is chilling, I'm going to check on the onions. All right, 15 minutes are up. Let's have a look. Getting a nice onion facial here. Stir in one tablespoon of sugar and one teaspoon of dried thyme leaves. Now I'm going to raise the heat to medium and cook the onions, stirring them from time to time until the onions turn a walnut brown. All right, the onions are starting to get some color on them. So I'm stirring them, oh, every five minutes or so, and I'm scraping the bottom of the pot with this spatula just to pick up any of the fond. You just have to be patient when you are caramelizing onions. They always seem to take longer than you think they will take. And here are the onions, beautifully caramelized, and they really smell terrific. I'm going to transfer the onions to this little dish here so that they can come to room temperature. I can't put hot onions on a cold dough. Look at this, just gorgeous. While the onions are cooling, I'm going to go ahead and roll out the pastry dough. And I'm going to roll it on my nice little pastry cloth. A little flour. Flour the top. Then I'm going to roll this into a 12 inch diameter circle. Remember, when you roll dough, always start at the middle and then roll to, oh, within an inch or so from the edge. Do not roll over the edge. If you are afraid to make your own pastry dough, try making it in a food processor just as I do. The food processor was a real game changer for me. All right, we are at 12 inches. So now I'm going to fold this into quarters. And then I have a rimless baking sheet over here. Rimless because I want to be able to slide the galette onto a cooling rack after it is baked. And you do not have to grease your baking sheet at all. There's enough butter, and in this case, shortening in this crust. It's not going to stick to the pan. Put this away. I stored this in my freezer. My oven is preheating to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius. Now, I'm going to go ahead and assemble the galette or tart. So I'm putting the caramelized onions on the pastry dough, and I'm going to spread them to within one inch from the border. Again, I cannot tell you how wonderful these onions smell. They smell like candy, actually. Then top the onions with five ounces or 140 grams of blue cheese. Now, blue cheese as you know, is very pungent, and that is why I added sugar when I was caramelizing the onions. I wanted the onions sweet enough to contrast the pungency of the blue cheese. If you want to use a mild cheese, say Swiss cheese on this tart, you really don't have to add any sugar when you caramelize the onions. Then fold the dough border over the onions, making pleats as you go. And then, to help the crust to brown beautifully in the oven, I'm going to brush it with the beaten egg. Now, 
Now this recipe, there goes my oven, this recipe will be on my website and I will post that link in the description below. Now, I wanted to mention that if you do not have a rimless baking sheet, just use a regular baking sheet turned upside down. I'm going to pop this into the oven now and let it bake until the crust browns and the cheese melts. That's going to take about 30 minutes. To accompany the onion galette, I am serving a salad of fresh parsley leaves from my garden. Here's my parsley. I'm going to just lightly dress this with some olive oil and lemon juice. There goes my oven. And here is our magnificent galette. going to slide this onto a wire rack. Please join me for a casual dinner in the parlor. You guys, this galette makes my taste buds swoon. The pastry is phenomenally tender and flaky. The onions are sweetly caramelized. And of course, the blue cheese is pleasantly pungent. Thank you so much for hanging out in the kitchen with me today. I really appreciate your company. And I hope you will give this galette a try. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to click the like button and be sure to tap the little bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. And of course, please subscribe. All right. Again, thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you in next week's video. Chin chin.